comic get your gains hey welcome back gainers we got another super duper exciting episode for you what is it wednesday it's what's the in the box. box so um if you guys are new to the show we are comic gains zach's doing a little dance for some reason it's a game um, dance i'm adam i'm zach and this is the princess her royal sovereign is here right royal sovereign so um as usual, guys, on Wednesdays we do what's in the box, and we have some other uh, games we're gonna open on this video. We'll go after that after the box, go through that after uh, what's in the box. But if you're new to what's in the box, um, we go through Zach's unorganized uh, CG uh, graded books that he has in boxes that he doesn't put in order or anything like that. And so we're helping him by looking at him for the first time, the princess and myself. And maybe Zach will learn a little organization skills along the way. No. No. No organization, only gains. Uh, only gains. <laughs> only gains. Don't let the organization get in the way of the game. We're going to have a stack of gains. So the cool thing with everywhere. it is we'll get a little kind of story of maybe how Zach got it. Um, either if he graded, got it graded himself or if he bought it graded. And possibly some values. We're going to be trying to work on putting some values in here. Yeah. It's, it should be right here. We'll see. Values. If Zach can figure it out. I can figure it he out. He can figure it out. He can do it. He can. I can do it. So... What are you doing? What's in the box? We're almost on to the next box, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think we got a couple more videos on this box. What? Oh, oh yeah, well, oh. Oh, thank you, princess. The princess wanted Zach to drink. That's a first. Uh, all right, yeah. So we got a Deschutes <laughs> brew. Deschutes? Uh, from, Deschutes? It's a fresh haze IPA evening pale ale. Mm. It sounds delicious. Great looking can. I mean, you could actually have it in your, you know, like your window and it looks great. It looks like it should be there. It's, it's a great design. <laughs> you can great display design. it. Good <laughs> job, the shoots. Is that in Oregon? I think so. Sounds right. Mm. In Oregon. Oh, it's fruity. Is it? Ooh. Oh. Is it good? It's really good. Nice. I like it's the fruity really... IPA. Those work well together. Yeah. It it's cuts a... the burn. It says 45 IBU, but it's not that bitter. It's not even better at all. Like, yep. All right, let's see. Let's do it. Let's... <gasps> What's, What's in the box? box? Oh, man. Let's do it. I gotta buy more of that. Jeez, guys. Ooh, okay. Whoa. This is an interesting one. So we got Iron and the Maiden number four. Um, we got four different covers exist. One by Francis Manipal, one by Joel Gonzalez, one by Jim Lee, and one by Michael Turner. That's crazy. So who did this one? It's not Michael Turner. Oh, I, no, I this was... is the Francis Amanapal. So huh. here's the thing. The original series, the artwork was done by Michael Turner. So I was buying it in a lot. Uh, the first book I got was Michael Turner. The other ones, it was from the same seller. So if you buy more books from the same seller, they can combine shipping. And you can save a lot of money doing it. So I, one of those books, I bought, bought this one with the Michael Turner. And it looks like that's an Aspen Comics uh, book right from their company yeah yeah okay. i've heard it's a really good story iron maiden i think it's called uh, yeah iron maiden i've heard it's a really really good story iron the it. maiden right iron the maiden is it iron and the maiden and the maiden iron in the maiden i've heard a good story so check it out yeah so what'd you get that one for Did you... uh probably uh 30 bucks i probably wasn't too invested in it because it's not a michael terry cover but it's great artwork very great artwork yeah Cool. By the artist. Cool little, cool little book. Whoever that guy is. So, uh... What, what's, what's in the box? box? Oh, we got, we got the same time. Nice. Yeah. What's, what's in the box? box? Bam! Right to the face. So the princess is randomly picking a book. Okay, is it is it yellow? I can't tell by... Oh, yeah, it is yellow. Oh, uh, oh cool, cool Yasagi of Jim It's probably it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, all right. Oh, this is crazy. So oh. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 95... Uh, whoa, first Jenica. First Jenica as a Ninja Turtle, which is crazy cool. And it's signed and sketched with a remark by Kevin Eastman. Where the heck did you find this at? Oh, well, I found it on eBay. That's sick. Uh, the price was, I think, just slightly under 100 It was very undervalued value considering the other printings of it. And I couldn't find the print run on this, but it's a Montreal Comic Con exclusive. I think this is, has a very, very low print run, but I cannot find the print run yet. 
I love that uh, he signed in yellow too. If you can find, if you guys know what the print run to that is, post it down below. It's really hard to figure That's out. That's cool. Probably because it's in Canada. Maybe I should just. That's gotta be like at least a two hundred dollar book now, right? They're probably nice enough for me to ask. Uh, maybe. Well, the uh, Kevin Eastman on the remarks sketch should be something like fifty dollars itself. The book itself is probably worth a hundred. Yeah. Um. So I'll just add 40 to it, probably 190 Yeah, that's pretty close. Let, let's say, let's say 190 We'll check out the prices, though. We'll put it down below. Yeah, we'll say it right somewhere here. Maybe, right maybe there? here. Right on the face? Right, right here. <gasps> oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> All right. I can get a lot of jobs getting a, a tattoo here, right, guys? Yeah. Anyways. What are we doing? What's in, in the, the box? box? What's in the box? What's in my fridge? All right. Oh, so you're getting hungry again? So it's dinner time, guys. Can't get that one out. It's stuck in there. Oh, it's another, uh, well, Aspen book, I'm guessing, because of the back cover. Oh. Let's see. What do we got here? I think I know what it is. Ooh, this is cool. So we got Michael Turner's Soul Fire, number one. This is a Wizard World Chicago 2004 exclusive. This is also, oh, also from 2004, but yeah, the cover is by Michael Turner. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So, 9.8. So, interesting thing about this. This is probably, they don't know yet, but this is probably one of the most desirable covers of, like, the Michael Turner Who's that? Uh, Soul Fire. Like, everyone? Well, anybody that wants Michael Turner stuff or Soul Fire stuff, this should be one of the covers. It hasn't catched on yet, but I bought two of these. Both in a 9.8? Both in a 9.8. What uh, did you get them for? 40, 50 bucks. But... There's only one other Soul Fire book that's worth, or Fathom book, can't remember which one, that is worth more. And I have that ungraded, I believe signed by Michael Turner. Uh, it's a, I'll show it to you guys later. Not in this video, but it's amazing. Cool, that, that cover is fire. It's limited to 1500 Wow, okay. That's a really low print run. Really low. Really low. 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 We got three books that we showed, so we got one more. All right. What's, What's in, in the box? box? What's in the box? What do we got? Got to pull out the next box. Next video. What's it going to be? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Oh, oh yes. Dang, that's cool. So oh, this is yes. side blade slash sheet. That's how you say it, sheet, right? Yeah, yeah. Sheet. The battle for, for independence, number one. First appearance of Sarah uh, Pazzini as Witchblade. It's like a different Witchblade character. Well, no, no. She's the actual character. She becomes Witchblade. I think Witchblade number one. Maybe in this issue, but I doubt it. But Witchblade number one, I believe she becomes Witchblade. She is going to be fire later. That's on. cool. 9.8. I want to say Princess has that book already, too, in a raw, doesn't she? Yeah, they're very easy to find. There's a rare preview edition. It has, I believe, that same cover, but with a light blue background. If you guys find it, Get it and then send it to me. I, want more. <laughs> I got one. You uh, need more than one, That's, dude. He, this is in excess. Yeah, uh, I myself have twelve Lamborghinis. <laughs> <laughs> the Baconator. More bacon. Right. Yeah, he's obsessed okay, with that. Sorry. This so uh, is funny. <laughs> so that's uh, that's the what's in the box for you guys. So we're gonna be opening up some goodies we got here. So first, um, we're gonna be opening a box. That we got from uh, Chino and Chino and Comics. So two, they're two guys that do uh, some auctions on YouTube. Really good guys. Their auctions are really cool. Um, this I think is the first thing we've ever bought from them, right? Or we bought we bought one thing before. This might be the second thing we bought from them. But check them out on YouTube. Zach will link them down below. But this one we bought a little while ago. It's been sitting around here for a while. So let's crack this open and see what's inside. Yeah, Chino, uh, Chino Comics, and I think one. One person Manny and Chino. Chino. Manny and Chino. Yeah. Really smart guys. Uh, they mm -hmm. work out a lot. Uh, but that's a totally do different to uh, subjects. Heck? But uh, anyways, really smart guys. I almost feel like they own a comic book shop. They do, I think. Okay. I okay. think. Seems like they do. Anyways, they really smart guys. They knew how, they know how to spec. Maybe not as good as me, because I'm a freaking amazing. Not joking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, smart guys. Yeah, they, they sometimes give you some really, really good deals. Um, Where you can and, just and get looks, some good deals on there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's moving I'm on. not very good with word guys, but anyway, so you can get some great deals. 
on their channel. I thought we only bought one out. book from them. Yeah. There's a bunch of books in here. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see what we got. They're, uh... They have a weekly auction, don't they? No, they do a couple times a week, I think. A couple times yeah. a week. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was just one auction or a weekly auction. That was since, like, it's really cool. Um, they put on books I've never thought about buying. That's pretty... Uh, that's pretty exciting. Because then they add the extra details into it. I'm like, you, you learn something from watching their channel. So that's pretty freaking awesome. From their auction. Um, you learn something? Well, you learn something. They explain yeah, why you they... learn something. Well, yeah. There's <laughs> so there's probably over five million books printed as of now. Probably even more than that. Yeah, like six or seven, maybe eight. About the average is about ten percent of them are key books. Oh, okay. I could just take this out. I thought that was a comic book I was pulling off. Uh, ten percent of them are key books. So let's say if there's seven seven million books printed out, there's seven hundred thousand books that are keys hmm. or semi keys. I'm not even sure what's in here because I know I thought we only bought one book, so maybe they sent us an A OK, which would be really cool. Yeah, so you can't know everything, guys. You know those little undervalued specs are like amazing. He's getting serious. Anyways, okay, first book. Pull from the bottom. Yeah. Okay, you have the Firepower Free Comic Book Day. Nice. Okay, it's unmarked, so it doesn't show the comic book. Uh, yeah, because the the stores were allowed to stamp. We went to that one place where the guy actually stamped them. He all actually stamped them with his store. So like the. The comic book shops are allowed to stamp their stamp on the free comic book day. Which, I don't know, does that change the value or does it make it the same? Um, it's, it's part of the process, so I don't think it really changes the value. Hmm. In my opinion. Let's see. Oh, there we go again. Everyone's sending us this book. So we got uh, Spider-Man number one, the free comic day, first appearance of Virus. Dude, we're going to have like, we got like ten of those now, don't we? Yeah, I think they're worth minimum $5 a piece. At least. I think they'll go up. The more that character gets hot, the more they're going to go up in value. <laughs> nice. I still need to read this. I, I've heard the first story is really good. So this is a Chu, not C H E E W. It's C H U. His I think cousin or niece. Oh, so that's that. They're yeah. He's related to the other Chu, right? This is the yeah. female Chu. I think she's way more powerful. Yeah. When we saw that on Key Collector, Zach was like, "We got to get that book. We got a spec on it." So we got another copy of it for our specking our specking collection. Yeah. So this is the one we actually bought, which I'm pretty pumped about this one. So this is Strange Academy number one. This is the uh, Walmart three pack variant, which I think is the hottest one out of the group, right? It's probably the most limited. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Walmart really went very deep in their ordering of this or production of this. And I don't even think that's like a second print. I think that's first print. I think that's made at exactly the same time. I could be wrong, but Get this book, guys. It's a good spec. I think there's a, there's a bunch of first appearances in that, right? At least five, yeah. probably more. So, yeah, if you guys see that one out there, I think it's it's a really cool story. It's kind of like, what they say? It's like a Hogwarts for Marvel or something like that. Yeah, Where yeah. Where like, you get to like, teach all these kids how to be superheroes. So, really cool story. So, keep an eye out for that one. That's definitely a good book to spec on. Okay, so next one. Um, this is something that I picked up at Scorpion Comics. Just bought it on their website. Some stuff you guys will tell me if you think I made a good, a smart buy or not. I haven't really bought much from them um, in the past, but I've just kind of been checking them out lately and decided to pick some books up. Uh, oh no, I'm dying. What's going on? Uh, nothing. I lost it. Yeah, you definitely did lose it. I missed it. I missed it. So, check their website out. They got some cool stuff. Um, I usually, I can't remember it like. Officer Joker turned us on to them with like Wednesday. They put out like a hot book where you gotta like buy it in the first five minutes. So and the last few Wednesdays we we, we got got one or two of them. So we got one Virgin Berry and two trade dress of the Venom. Venom was it Venom? Yeah, Venom. Boy, Peach Mocha Venom. Right? Oh, Venom Twenty Eight Peach Mocha. Uh, it's already selling for double on eBay. Crazy, right? Yeah, uh, so it's definitely check them out for those quick flash sales that are on Wednesday. I think 3 p.m. Pacific time. So these ones I bought, I think most of them are all going to go in my personal collection or, or specking on, but we'll see if I got any good ones. So That's I can't remember cool. who's this character called. Um, it's, it's like Jump Spider-Man or something, or I can't remember now. It's cool, though. They had a deal on this one. So it's a virgin variant. If anybody Spectre. remembers... Superior. No, I don't think it's Superior. Superior Get a different Spider name. 
Is it? Superior Spider-Man. Okay. If anyone knows, leave a comment down below. I should have known because I'm the one that bought it, but I thought it was pretty cool looking. I think it's Superior Spider-Man. All right, next cool. book. So this is homage of uh, Spider-Man number one, and it is also a Spider-Man number one, The Torment. And it's Clayton Crane, too. And it's Clayton Crane. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. It's pretty It's pretty nice. I won't lie. Yeah, I saw it the first time, I was like, oh, it's kind of like a little too overdrawn, and then after I looked at it again, I'm like, well, this is actually a really cool cover. I don't know, does anyone know, did they do the black suit one? Because they were kind of showing it on the website, but I didn't see it for sale, so I don't know if anybody knows about the black suit. Might have been limited. And this one I'm really excited about. We got oh, Miles Morales, Morales Spider-Man number one. And this one's really, I think it's really drawn really well. Is that this, Crane too? Yeah, this is Clayton Crane as well. So I know he was doing a signing. I don't know if it's over. I think it probably is over by now. but I think he did a second a private signing through CGC. I think the mailing date is the third. Yeah, so, something yeah. like that. So did let me know if you guys think I made smart buys on those books or if I made a bad buys, whatever you guys think. I'm, I'm open to what, what you guys think on that. So... Um, last one we're going to open, and this one should be something that I bought from Unknown Comics, and it's a gift to the princess. So, we'll see what we got in here. Time for a nap. Zach and, Zach's all tuckered out? I'm all tuckered out. Let's see. Let's see. I think. Hopefully this is the right one, otherwise it's not a gift to the princess. I am so unorganized like me. No, I am organized. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what box that is. You so... All right. Batman Beyond? Yeah. Old Guard? Nope. Yeah. That's the right one. Ultimate okay. Comics? Old, Ultimate Spider-Man? Yeah. Oh, Bane? Yeah. Oh, they taped it to the book. I, I don't know what you call that one. But Let's that see. One. Something. So, Something. here we go. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, so this is really cool. This one sold out really fast, but I got this on Unknown Comics, and it is the um, what is it? Batman 92 Art Germ cover, and it's not just the regular Art Germ cover, it's the foil Art Germ cover. Yeah, uh, you put that knife away. Knife. He's stabbing, pointing stabbing. with the knife. So, uh, really, really cool book. She already, has the, she already has the regular cover, so I thought it'd be really cool if she got the foil cover to go with it. Nice little book there. It's probably lower print run, right, Zach? Much lower? I don't know. Uh, I don't really know about the exclusive covers. I think you'd have to ask the people that printed it out. Oh, yeah, we'll but, find um, it. We'll check. It's hard to find out that information. Uh, usually, you find out from uh, Diamond Distributors, but yeah, now everything right. is kind of weird now. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, I, so guys... Um, that's our video for today, our, our great Wednesday video. I know all, a lot of you guys are telling us you really like What's in the Box, so we're going to keep pumping out those What's in the Box videos. Really appreciate all the comments that you guys leave for us on those videos. So with that, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't for hit, forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when the new stuff is popping. And uh, any, anything else? Uh, I think it's going to be past today. Or, or maybe like you find, out, you find an older gentleman that's rich and... Uh, where am I going with this? No, <laughs> well, he's Batman, or used to be Batman, and you're Terry McGinnis. You know, that, that's obvious. So you're Terry McGinnis. Wait, and you have to be Terry McGinnis? Well, you could be someone else. <laughs> you could be someone else. You could be like uh, Adam Stroganoff. Uh, <laughs> my last name is not Stroganoff. No, he's not Stroganoff. Stroganoff. I'm not going to say his last name. But anyways, so your city's in turmoil. You want to find justice you find a person that has justice but is like broken down by time and wants to give everything that he has built to you and that's how you become batman beyond right oh yeah i like that the and beyond the beyond all right guys that is our show for today everybody uh stay safe out there princess is doing her fantasy football uh, draft today, so everyone wish her luck. Yeah, that's right. She likes fantasy football too. Whoop. Comics and football. The double threat. Alright guys, stay safe. Dust pump. Get those Get games. Those Get them. <laughs>